Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you here with us and pray you will be blessed. Sit back for the next two hours and enjoy while we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing, pray, and read the Bible in support of one another on our journey of faith. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer request and praise reports. You may call us at 606-464-4250 anytime during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Sister Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome into our studio for another get together and a time that we spend talking, singing about the Lord and sharing the good things. Uh, it says to let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And this is why we love to have good testimonies from our people to what God has done for them. And it's good for us and it's good for the world to know that there is still a God in charge and He is He's still in charge, and in spite of what other people might say or think, we know that the Lord is still in charge. And He still knows where we are and who we are, and He's always there to help us. And, and so we're, we're living in a very uh, troublesome world right now, but you can't, you can't let your mind dwell on that. We know you can't stick your head in the sand and ignore it either, but you can know what's going on, but we do not have to keep our mind on it because we need to, more and more, we need to get into the Word, know what the Word says, and then when we see things happening, then we know what, uh, it's just a fulfillment from the Bible. And so tonight we want to share with you some scripture that is really good. It tells us, uh, you know, it, when you join the military and there's a war going on, they train everyone to be able to handle the battles that is coming up. And um, so this is uh, in in this battle that we are in. It's not uh, it's not against people. It's against the the enemy. And so here's what the scripture that we have to uh, live on to be prepared for the battles, the spiritual battles. We want to put on the whole armor of God. And this is not like a, a Smith and Wesson 45 or something like this, but it is a spiritual battle that we're, that we're fighting. So here it is in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, starting with the 10th verse. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against uh, rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, then stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplications for all the saints, telling us how to put on the whole armor of God. And that's what we are, that's what we are to do as Christians. And, you know, there's a piece of armor there mentions about uh, uh, what uh, our, uh, we need to know what the Word says so we can stand on it. And then uh, 
You know, the shield is what they put in front of them to keep a bullet from hitting. Well, that is our faith. And, and that way we'll be able, if we have the Word of God in your heart, then when fiery darts come from the wicked, then you'll be able to handle them if you have that shield of faith. And the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, telling us how important, how how very important it is to know what the Bible says and to stick with it. And so that's what we want to do and that uh, uh, pray for uh, pray for all the saints, it says. And so that means that as pray for other Christians, we have, uh, uh, we have a lot of people that's serving the Lord and they're uh, sick and having uh, difficulties right now. And uh, uh, they need they need prayer. So one of those uh, you uh, remember uh, Tim and Judy Amberger that comes and sings and ministers from time to time. Well, Tim is still uh, under the weather. He is going next Thursday to back to, into the hospital to have uh, his lungs cleared out, and uh, then later on he has to go to Louisville to. Uh, a Jewish hospital to see a heart specialist. So uh, Judy and, and uh, Tim Amberger, they need prayer tonight because they they want to get back into the service. They want to get back with singing and, and telling the good news to people. So you help us to pray for them. And several other preachers that we know of, they seem like under attack right now. But but we know that God will bring them through, but it's just a trying time. They uh, keep them from being discouraged and everything. And you know, this, uh, this old virus that's been going around, it's, it's in depressed and, and discouraged a lot of people. But we have to do like David said, he encouraged himself in the Lord. We've got to go back to the Word. Get some word in you there and hang on to it for dear life because there's not a thing in this world that you can hold on to and, and know that it's going to be there. Only the Lord, he, can, he will be with us. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the uh, great promises that you have made us and that we know that are true. They are true every day with your children the ones that have accepted you, Lord. We know that you're going to take care of us. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but you deliver out of all of them. And we thank you for that. And so, Lord, we pray that you would bless uh, Judy and, and Tim Amberger tonight and, and uh, Liz Couch and others, Lord, that are just needing uh, some encouragement from you tonight. And so we ask you to bless them, each person that has joined us, and bless our guests and our phone operators. And Lord, let this be a night that we have heard of someone making a decision for you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, tonight we have as our singing guests, we have Helen Lewis and the uh, Gospel Singers from West Liberty, Kentucky. They do have CDs. The number to call is 606 743-4047 and that's uh, they're ready uh, right now uh, Helen and her sister so let's go over now for the music Oh, 
Dennis Carter and Murray Reed and Ruby uh, Donalds. She was going to bring us down here before, and another feller stepped in and brought us, so you know. I told her I'd remember her tonight. She's having a problem with her legs and she's wanting prayer, so everybody remember her. And remember Melvin Lewis, my little boy, and Ishmael and Phyllis's family. We got a whole lot of people with us tonight, Ar Arnett and Staten and Edward, and he's got a birthday, and my boy's got a birthday coming up on the 19th of June, and a whole lot of things going on. So let's all just get in tonight and do what we can do because we're filling in for another church that couldn't come. Same. I had a lot of trouble and trials in my life to span when I stand alone and the battle gets hard I'll always do the best I can I must have crossed a million valleys shed a million tears but when I come to the river of Jordan hallelujah then I'll have no fear one more river to cross one more mountain to climb One more valley that I gotta go through Leaving all my troubles behind One more battle with the devil And I know he'll understand That I'm going through with Jesus, hallelujah Holding to his nails hard hand Holding to his nails hard hand Yes, one more river to cross One more mountain A lot of people talking about me since I walked this narrow way But it's just another little valley that I'll come to it when I pray I must have cried a million valleys, crossed a lot of little streams But when I see old George tall dark water, it'll be the last for me One more river to cross, one more to go through, leaving all my troubles behind. One more battle with the devil, and I know he'll understand that I'm going through with Jesus, hallelujah, holding to his nails hard hand, holding to his nails hard hand. Yes, one more river to cross, one more mountain to climb, one more told them if I thought of them, we'd tell them. So we're going to send it out to them tonight, too. All of them. We went to church everywhere. And some of them asked me today, said, you all going to Beattyville? I said, yeah. I said, ain't you afraid? I said, no. I said, well, we're afraid to get out. I said, where's your faith at? Who you got your faith in? God said he'd take care of us, so I'm depending on him to take care of me. I said, I don't care what that devil's got. I ain't got a thing for him, and he ain't got much for me. So y'all pray first. We have to stand up though and rebuke the devil. When he comes at you with all force, that's when you have to stand up again. And I told him, I said, I tell you, Margaret has made one of the best movie stars because she's a movie star for Jesus. I've seen all kinds of them. But at least for years and years, she's been a movie star for Jesus. And that's what I want to be. So y'all pray first tonight. I'm, I just feel like telling that on her because I know she's a good old woman. <laughs>
Children's are listening, and all of them that ain't listening will send it out to them anyhow, whether they want us to or not. But anyhow, send it out to everybody that's hearing us tonight. There's a lot of people that in, enjoys this. I'm going to try to do this. The world's not my home. If I can, I've got a throat to try and act up on me tonight. But just pray for me, because I'll tell you, the devil knows you're going to do something for the Lord. He'll try his best to stop you. But for many years, he ain't never made it yet. And I hope he never gets the best of me. So just keep praying for me. This world is not my home. Oh, my. 
that's watching tonight. One dark night in Egypt, a fearful time had come for one little Hebrew boy who was his father's firstborn son. The angel of death was passing low. It was hard to fall asleep. For one little lamb stood in his mind as he lay there counting sheep. He wondered why the young lamb had to die, why his blood was on. and the rain but it still remained but he wanted to be sure so he called out to his earthly father with his trembling voice so scared crying father will you please look and see Wash away The blood will stand the raging storm It's been applied with love and care Safe, secure, you can rest assured That the blood is still there Looking over all The fear that it gripped my troubled soul brought me back to my knees in prayer. Crying, Father, would you please look and see if the blood is still there? Said, Now, son, don't you worry. applied with love and care safe secure you can rest assured that the blood is still there oh safe secure you can rest assured that the blood is still there Mark had told us a while ago, if y'all want to call in for prayer, we got a real good sister up there, Dottie. I've known her for years, and she don't do nothing else but read them things and pray for you. You know, a lot of people tell you they're going to pray for you, and you can't feel a thing from it. 
That's the reason I know I, when I had cancer, I called and the Lord healed me, and I could feel everybody was praying for me. And if you really got the love of God in your heart, I believe you can feel it too. So I want to, you know, just call in here and help support this place. It needs to be kept open for the Lord because it's the best thing that's ever going to come to you if you get him in your heart. And I had a request for Alfie Clevenger. She's wanting me saying, crash on the highway. We hear of them every day getting killed. And every time I get in a vehicle, I say, Lord, watch over us and don't let nobody, you know, hit into us and let us watch and not hit nobody. So this is what that song was all about. Somebody wrote it, but she loved it. And I'll do it in an A chord here, Donna, if you want to help us. We appreciate Donna helping us tonight, too. All this music, I tell you, helps out. Who did you say it was, brother? Who was it fell by the way? And whiskey and blood runs together. I didn't hear nobody pray. I didn't hear nobody pray, dear brother. I didn't hear nobody pray. scheduled to come back down here on the 23rd again of July and Audrey said don't you forget to tell everybody now so I'm going to tell that before I forget it because I can't remember everything either you know as you get up in age you got to sometimes you have to jot a few things down every now and then but nothing don't happen we're going to try to be right back and fill our appointments because I want to do all we can do for the Lord sing one hey. you don't know like I know what he's done for me No, you don't know like I know What he's done for me You don't know like I know What he's done for me What he's done for me Lord, what he's done for me When the Lord saved me Let me tell you I was young He filled me with the sweet Holy Ghost And I spoke in another tongue Ever since that moment and ever since that day, I found a highway called holiness and I'm happy on my way. He feeds me when I'm hungry, he cheers me when I'm sad, and he has been the dearest friend that I have ever had. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. No, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. What he's done for me, Lord, what he's done for me. I remember one day lying in my bed of pain. I looked up to heaven and I called upon his holy name. 
fire of God came on me. I felt the heavenly host. I got up from my bed of sickness full of the Holy Ghost. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. No, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. What he's done for me, Lord, what he's done for me. He feeds me when I'm hungry. He cheers me when I'm sad. And he has been the dearest friend that I have ever had. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. No, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. What he's done for me, Lord, what he's done for me. Now listen to my story that I am about to tell. I was lost without God on my way to a burning hell. I knelt down at the altar and the Lord he met me there. He removed all my burdens of sin when I had my altar of prayer. He's done for me. No, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. What he's done for me, Lord, what he's done for me. Arnetta, you want to sing one or you want to help us? You're welcome if you want to sing. I don't like to leave nobody out. Or if the Lord's wanting you to sing one, you better obey him. Not me, but him. <laughs> I've been a lot of places and I'd feel like doing something, you know, and I'd sit back and fear people. And God said to me one night, who put you in this thing to start with? Are you letting man rule you or are you listening to my spirit? From that day on, honey, when I had a song, I got up and done it. And my daddy would tell me, he'd say, you're going to get run out someday. I said, well, while I'm going out the door, I'm going to sing. So everybody just pray for me. I'll keep that determination in my heart. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to go. There's a light in the window, the 
table is spread in splendor. Someone standing by an open door. I can see a crystal river that I must be near forever. Lord, I've never been this small sick before see the bright light shine it's just about home time and I can see my father standing at the door this old world's been a wilderness and I'm ready for deliverance Lord, I've never been this home sick before. I can see the family gathering. Sweet faces, they're all familiar. And no one is old and feeble anymore. Oh, this lonesome heart is crying. I think I'll spread my wings for flying Cause I've never been this home sick before See the bright light shine It's just about home time And I can see my father standing at the door this a world's been a wilderness And I'm ready for deliverance Lord, I've never been this home sick before Lord, I've never been this home sick before the nursing home me and margaret sung to over there so long i'm gonna send this out to them they watch it every night and they said they'd be watching so we've been over there a lot of years singing to them and they, they enjoy it and every time we didn't go they'd be calling what's happened nobody cares for us. sister margaret people in there they're crying out for help and people don't know it but i used to work there years ago back in 75 and they'd be so lonesome. And I thought, you know, how could anybody throw their mother and daddy off in a nursing home? They raised us, and we took care of our mommy and our daddies, but there was enough of us to do it. So, But if you don't have nowhere else to go, it's a good place to go anyhow. But I'm going to sing this for them because they always love to sing it. Over there at West Liberty is where we went all the time. Well, we went to Sandy Hook and different places, but it been the same key, Donna, where the soul of man never dies. To Canaan's land, I'm on my way where the soul of man never dies. And I will spend eternity where the soul of man never dies. I'm on my way to that land where the soul of man never dies. 
you too, boy. Maybe you can get to come with us the next time. I forgot to forget him. A loved one knew he had neared the end of life's journey, but he'd been holding to God's hand a long, long time. And as I knew by his bed, my heart was blessed by what he said. If I go or if I stay, the victory's well, I'm a winner either way If I go or if I stay For I'll have my Jesus with me Each passing day I'll have a year below And a life forever If I go, oh praise the Lord I'm a winner either way We must be prepared to go to heaven any day. So while we're here, let's trust the Lord. He'll lead us safe to our reward. And by His grace, we'll be a winner either way. Yes, I'm a winner. If I go or if I stay, for I'll have my Jesus with me each passing day. I'll have my healing year below and a life forever if I go. Oh, praise the Lord, I'm a winner either way. And if you know God, you're a winner either way. All you young people, uh, one more song. All you young people, get your Bible every day and read it. Nobody can't deceive you that way, I tell you. They, you can't let them deceive you because they'll do it in the last days. Deceivers is out there, but don't ever let them do it. Get your book and then don't have nothing else but what it says. What kind of a man... Thank you, Helen Lewis Gospel Singers, and uh, that's Helen and her sister, and they're from West Liberty, Kentucky, and uh, they have a phone number, 606-743-4047, and they do have CDs if you'd like to uh, contact them, and uh, they're from the Church of God Little uh, Country Church, it says. All right, we have some... We have some calls to acknowledge, and we want to get them all in. We know there's a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of sick people right now that's uh, 
needing someone to help them pray. You know, you can pray for yourself, but if you're real sick, you need some somebody to help you. And so that's what uh, um, these have called in. Breathitt County, pray for a nephew who goes to court Friday over custody of his kids. Uh, Doris from Pulaski County, pray for her and her husband. Rebecca from Mount Sterling, pray for Judy and uh, uh, Dana. Uh, Mary from Round County said she's listening tonight. I guess she'll probably be here tomorrow night. And we have Tammy from Knox County Unspoken Request, Geneva from Johnson County for her and her son, uh, from Jackson County, Emory and Charles, and a friend uh, named Richie has a colon cancer, had surgery and needs prayer. Jimmy from Jamestown loved the singing and uh, Wanted to hear Old Come Angel Band. A brother-in-law from Knox County for has cancer and his uh, husband and wife both need prayer. Ronnie from Perry County loves the music and uh, didn't think that uh, Helen was close enough to the mic. All right, from Laurel County, uh, Phyllis has called uh, for several people there that's... Uh, uh, said there's a fire that's close to her house right now. I believe that's what it's saying. Emily from Knox County, pray for her and the, the whole family. They need prayer and for a daughter. Uh, Plymy uh, Bright uh, is, uh, has physical needs tonight. This one says Donald, I'm not sure where from. Uh, Sheila from Morgan County, uh, physical pains, and and then we have Wanda from Leslie County for a daughter that's in the hospital, diabetic, and the mother and daughter both are on dialysis. Uh, J.B. Gabbard uh, has cysts behind the ear from Breathitt County. Elsie from Corbin. Uh, needs prayer, uh, is really sick, problems with her legs. WLJC is her church, and she loves all of us. Thank you, Elsie. Uh, right, uh, here's um, Helen has called for Walter Jr. Uh, is in the hospital, a diabetic, and, and a lot of other health issues. And uh, we have uh, um, Jesse from uh, Knott County, uh, 80 years of age, has, has been r r real sick for several days. And a lot of folk are right now. They're just having a time. This weather doesn't seem to be helping them too much. Eddie from Harlan has a daughter that's uh, uh, giving him some, some trouble, he says. So he needs to, he needs to uh, pray for his daughter. Here's someone named Margie. It does not say what... Uh, uh, what county they're from. Ramona from Harlan County for, she has two unspoken requests. You know, I'm glad that when we go to the Lord, we don't have to tell him every little thing about our needs because he already knows. He knows exactly the pains that we feel. And you know, uh, especially those that have recently lost loved ones, he knows that pain. He knows what you're, what you're trying to struggle uh, and live under right now. So, um, and he's promised to never leave us nor forsake us. And you know, he is the only one that can do that. Your family, they will go with you as far as they can. They'll do what they can. But no one but the Lord can be with you from uh, all the time. From Pike County, Phyllis, pray for Scott. He has two blood clots, one in each leg. Uh, Peggy from Bretha County, pray for Bill. And this one says, pray for Larry and Janelle that's in the hospital and needs God to intervene. Uh, Jay from uh, Knox County, for him and his family. And then we will remember Pastor Tim Amberge. He'll be uh, visiting two hospitals in the near future, Whitesburg and the Jewish Hospital, a trouble with his heart and uh, other things. So, uh, so we want to remember him. He's anxious to get back on the road singing and preaching and working for the Lord. From Frankfurt, uh, Norma Hamilton uh, says, 
was married 53 years of three, mm, let me start all over, was married for 53 years and uh, she and her husband, they, he was a good Christian man, and uh, she can't get over his death. Only uh, four days after they found out he had cancer, mm -hmm. he passed. All right, that's from Frankfurt. Been married 53 years. Bless your heart. Uh, Breathitt County, pray for Jan. Uh, Glenda from uh, Perry County, pray for her son-in-law. Has problems with his lungs. He's very sick and his name is Terry. All right, uh, so what, uh, what is, uh, do you have a special need you want, pray, uh, you want us to pray with you tonight about? Well, as we pray, let's just, uh, if you have one, just say, Lord, I want, I want to be included. Because see, when I share these requests, it's not just me sitting here praying. There's untold numbers of good old Christian saints, it was seasoned saints. They've been through many battles. They have uh, seen many victories won. And they're out there, and when I say let's pray, they join right in and they pray. So when you ask for prayer, it's not just one person praying for you. It's untold numbers of people. And that's why it's so important to be able to share. And then we want to uh, continue to remember the Shoemaker family. And um, so we have, uh, let's all agree. And I thank you for those of you that do. Uh, Liz Couch told me that she prays every night for us when she is watching. She, she prays for us and she prays for the station. And it's just so refreshing to have someone that really loves the ministry and praying for it. And now she, Liz has not been able to get out much since she had her stroke. And uh, but we're believing for to be able to do that before long. I'm uh, love to go sit down and talk to her. So we'll have to uh, see about that. But so let's pray for all of these people and thank you for helping me, Father. In the name of Jesus, you said in Matthew eighteen eighteen nineteen that if two agree as touching anything then it'll be done. Now, Lord, if uh, we know what these folk have asked for tonight, it's for healing, it's for salvation, it's for the extending of their life and to, uh, to comfort them. And so we know this is all in your will that because you came to bind up the brokenhearted. And so, Father, in Jesus' name, with all of our prayer partners out there praying with us, I thank you for each one of them, Lord. Bless them. Encourage their faith and help them to believe with us each night for these needs to be met. And Lord, we know you're going to answer according to your will and according to your plan for each of the people. We thank you, Lord, that you're still holding our nation together. We ask you to have mercy on our nation. Lord, give us peace and give us a, a freedom that we've never experienced. Let where hate is, let it be replaced with love. And where there's anger, that it'll be with, let that be gone and peace to come into our land. Lord, let a, your spirit, which is the only one with peace, come and do, do a work in the hearts and lives of each person. We know that you can't rule uh, sometimes when people just want to do wrong but lord if they're saved then they have a changed heart they have a new heart they will do better and we ask you for that to happen throughout our world lord uh, may your will be done and we thank you that the gospel is still being preached around the world so bless each person that's been with us in jesus name amen we do want to everyone to pray for our nation because now, you know, they're not, people are not just making decisions that affects them. It, every decision that's made will affect us too. And so that's one of the reasons why I think the Lord wants us, when he says to pray for our leaders. And when you pray for good things to happen, uh, now there's no need, if you've got a bad attitude and you want them to uh, be washed downstream, don't talk to the Lord about that because that's not of his business. And, uh, but he wants us to pray with love and forgiveness. 
And if you haven't got there, keep pra trying, keep practicing. It'll come. It'll come sooner or later. Well, we appreciate tonight you being with us, and we know that uh, we're over and over we're seeing prayers answered, and God is still very much alive and still in control. Well, from uh, uh, we want to say thanks to Helen and her sister for being here tonight. So, uh, from all of us, though, we want to say good night. And God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest program. We trust you are blessed every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution of support. Will you become a financial partner of Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? We invite you to send your pledges of support to WLJC, Post Office Box Y, Beattyville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.wljc.com. May God bless you.